Good evening, everyone. Okay, we're gonna we're going to sing a few songs of praise and worship. Who's who feels like doing that? Who's ready? Yes. Do you have a good lunch? Excellent, excellent. We're gonna start off by singing that we're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. Are you blessed today? Are you blessed? You don't sound like you're blessed. You can put your hands together. Everybody say bless, 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 we cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. We are Say we're blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come, when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Everybody say bless, 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 say bless, 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 we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the fields, we're blessed when we come, when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are Let's sing late in the midnight hour. Late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn around. He's gonna just to wait and see. Late in the midnight. God's gonna turn around. And 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 around. Say late, late in the that's gonna turn, that's gonna turn around. He's gonna work He's gonna just to wait, wait and see it. Yeah. Late in the midnight, in the midnight that's gonna turn, that's around. gonna turn around. And around, 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 and around. Everybody say bless, 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 say bless, 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 we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the fields, we're blessed when we come, when we go. Sickness and poverty, for the devil is, we are, one more time, we're blessed, we're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the fields, we're blessed when we come, when we go, we cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease, for the devil is defeated, we are blessed, amen. Amen. Next song we're going to sing is, I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Yeah. We feel lonely standing up by ourselves. We want you to join us. Please stand with us as we sing this song. I want you to put your hands together as well. Let's go. Who's ready to trade their sorrows? Who's ready to trade their shame and lay it down for the joy of the Lord? A little bit faster. Let's go. Sing, I'm trading. I'm trading Faster. My sorrow. I'm trading. I'm trading my shame. Say, I'm laying it down. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Say, I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my sickness. 
I'm trading my pain. Can we move the words, please? Said I'm laying in the town for the joy of the Lord. Let's go from the top again. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. Keep up the tempo. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. You hear you listen? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Let's go from the top again. Let's say, I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Say, I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain, I'm trading my pain. And, I'm laying down I'm laying down and I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Okay, let's sing. Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Let's sing it again. Say yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, amen. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Last time, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. I feel like praising him. Amen. The song is somewhat incorrect though because you shouldn't feel to praise God, amen? Because he doesn't feel when he wants to bless us. He blesses us regardless of how we are to him. So let's sing that this afternoon, this evening, that I feel like praising him. Are you ready? Let's go. I feel like praising him. I feel like praising him. Say, oh, oh, the Lord has been so good to me. I feel like praising him. 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 Clapping my hands, I feel like clapping my hands. I feel like clapping my hands. I feel like clapping my hands. Oh, oh, the Lord has been so good to me. I feel like clapping my hands. I feel like stomping my feet. I feel like stomping my feet. I feel like stomping my feet. Do you feel like 
like waving your hands. Oh, 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 the Lord has been so good to me. I feel like waving my hands. I feel like hugging a friend. I feel like hugging a friend. I feel like hugging a friend. Somebody else. I feel like hugging a friend. I feel like hugging a friend. I feel like hugging a friend. Oh, the Lord has been so good to me. I feel like hugging. I feel like praising Him. I feel like praising Him. I feel like praising Him. I feel like hugging a friend. I feel like hugging. Say, oh, 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 the Lord has been so. I feel like waving my hands. I feel like Say, oh, oh, the Lord has been so. I feel like praising Him. I feel like praising Him. Amen. I feel like singing the love of Jesus. I know it's not on the list. I know I said I wouldn't do this, but I feel like singing. The love of Jesus is so, it's so high you can't, it's so low that you can't, and it's so wide that you can't, oh wonderful love. Pull in. Let's take it easy. Let's sing. The love of Jesus. Let's go. The love of Jesus is so wonderful. It's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Oh. Say that again. The love of Jesus. It's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. So high and so high, so low and so low, so wide and so high. Oh, oh, oh. It's so high and so high, it's low and so low, wide and so high. Oh, on the top of the love of Jesus. So the words of this song are, the love of Jesus is so wonderful. But all I'm hearing is, the love of Jesus, and no one's doing is so wonderful. Everyone can't sing the same thing, right? So I need some people to volunteer to sing the next bit, innit? Yeah? Yes? All right, let's go from the top. The love of Jesus, let's go. The love of Jesus. So That's nice. The love of Jesus. So high and so high, low and so low. 
so high and so high, low and so low, wide and so high. Come on, one more time, take it up. So high and so high. Wonderful. One more time. So high and so high. Low and so low. Wide and so high. Oh, oh, oh. One more time. It's so high and so high. to praise the Lord. I got a reason to praise. Let's gonna sing, we're going to sing I'm, I Got A Reason. Let's put our hands together again.
church I think it's Ephesians 2 verse 9 a Bible scholar will, will correct me but it says that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or think so when you think that you've asked God of, of too much God's ability to accommodate you is so much more than that and I'm glad that I serve a God like that amen Amen. Aren't you glad that you serve a God like that? Let's sing that this, this afternoon. That God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able. Amen. Somebody say amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Amen. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, all you could ask or think, according to the power. Just what he said he will do. I'm telling the truth here. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. So he's able. Put your hands together as we sing that he's able. Do you believe it today? Say he's able. Let's all sing the chorus. Say God, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He said he will do. He's gonna fulfill, he's gonna fulfill every, promise. every promise to you. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. Say, oh, 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 oh. He's able. Let's 
take our God. God is able to do just what He said He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. Say He's able. He won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. There's somebody here that I know that you want to throw in the towel and you feel like it's time that you give up. But if it's one thing you take away from today, don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. I never gave up on God and he won't give up on me. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you I know that it seems like it's too hard But he won't give up on you Don't give up on God Keep holding on Don't let go Keep holding on Please be strong Cause he won't give up on you Let's all sing together. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. One, two, one, two. Good evening, everyone. Now, guys, I know I come from the country bush and you think that I'm no longer a Londoner and all the rest of it, but it's only fair that you greet someone when they greet you. Isn't that right? Good evening, everyone. Good evening on the balcony. Lord, Warren, what you done to the people? Now, I heard that you lot had a good time this morning. Were you blessed this morning? If you're blessed, say blessed. Tonight we're going to have even a bigger blessing and a bit more of a party for God, right? Do you have something to thank God for? Do you have something to praise God for? Man, you lot are dead. I'm just going to be real with you. You know how long I've been excited about coming back to London, looking at the cows and donkeys outside my window, waiting for the day when I can come back to the area 6C day 
of fellowship. You know what I noticed? There's a lot of other faces here today. I thought it was East London. But I see some other people snuck in around us. Where are you from, Miriam? When did Lewisham become East? I see some people from North as well. Don't be laughing at the South Londoners. West London, are you here? No, West London don't travel. <laughs> I just want to try something real quick because I'm seeing more South faces than anyone else. So if you're from South, just shout out amen real quick. Amen. Life. This is the calmest South Londoners you've ever had. If you're from North, shout out amen. amen. Life. Let's see. Let's try it. If you're from West, say praise the Lord. Oh, we praying for you, man. We praying for you. If you're from East, shout out, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wow. If you're from North, say it one more time. <laughs> Who's from Stoke Newington here? Stokey people make some noise. Yeah. Woo. Now, where are you? North or East? We are, I know, we, we make it. We, everyone wants us, North and East. We just, don't worry, I know, represent. I haven't been there for a few years, but still, still key all the way. Tonight, I'm going to be with you guys. I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk too much. Auntie Blossom already cussed me and said I mustn't talk too much. Just go on with the program. So if I'm talking too much, Auntie Blossom, just wave. Say something. Say, get down, boy. I don't know what you want to say. And I'll just sit down, yeah? Cool. But the first act that's coming up today comes from my second home church. So you guys have to make a whole load of noise. Make them feel welcome as they come to minister to us. It's the Hackney Church Group. We have to go for the Hackney Church Group. <laughs> Hackney Church Group, you're here. Yeah, no worries. I don't know. Maybe you, Suspense makes the heart grow fond. I don't know if that's a saying, but we're going to create it today. So <laughs> where's, they're not around. Hackney, guys, we're going to give you some time just because we... They're ready? Well, in the meantime, seeing as the Hackney people are still on the bus or something getting down here, we're just going to invite the home church. You from Ilford, make some noise. Yeah. Welcome your group, the Ilford group, to come up to the front as they come to minister to us. The Ilford group, are you here? This is going to be fun tonight. <laughs> Okay, so while the Hackney group get ready to come to us, uh, it's not the, okay, Wh whoever's here representing Hackney, yeah, so while they're getting ready to come up to us, if you're from Hackney and you've been asked to minister tonight, man, it's from my own heart as well, you know, but anyway, but musicians, you lot played a song earlier on, and I know it's, everyone's going to be excited with that one. How did it go? It said, the love of Jesus is so wonderful. Play that tune for me real quick. The love of Jesus is so wonderful. Because I noticed that my little friend over there on the guitar was getting a bit excited. And I just wanted to see a little song. Play that tune again. The love of Jesus is so wonderful. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, can we try something? Gonna try some. I just want each of the instruments in the VG to have a little solo. Is that okay? Don't, don't, don't look so nervous. Don't look so now, now Junior's wishing that he didn't move. It's alright, don't worry. Boss man booty on the bass. This is the boss man right here. You ready? You ready? Do your thing, bro. Uh, all the instruments just take it down a bit. Let's see, let's see. Go on. Make some noise to the bass. You ready? You ready? Papa John's. You ready? So your time is coming, you know. When you're ready, take it away, bro. Now 
Now you guys need to make a lot of noise for my brethren, Jordy, as he takes it away on guitar. Go on, Jordy. Don't hurt yourself now. Go on, go on. You done? I didn't say stop. Now I'm playing, now I'm playing. Make some noise for Jordy on the guitar. You have to do something on the drums now. Go on, go on. Make some noise for the drums. Guys, today it's all about worship. It's all about praise. And I'm going to invite to the stage Afia Press to bless us with her musical ministry. Make some noise to Afia Price. Keep going, it's not finished. Make some noise as she comes to the stage. Come on around, come on around, my sister. of sinners the cow wipe away their tears gave me my voice to speak your word to sing all your praises to those who been broken so many people to be Show 
Amen. We want to welcome representing Ilford Seventh Day Adventist Church. Is what what? How many churches in Ilford? Well, news to I've been away. Give me time. Ilford Central Seventh Day Adventist Church, beautiful building. You know, we praise God for His blessings that He's pouring out in East London. But representing Ilford Central, we want to invite to the stage. Emoja, who, I, I, jo, Ijoma, Ijoma, guys, why are you looking at me like I've done something for spite? I'm reading what's on here. Ijoma, apologies for my pronunciations. Please welcome to the stage Ijoma, who's going to minister to us somehow. Good evening, church. Good evening, church. Um, the title of today um, and the title of my piece is Make Me a Servant. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Lord, make me a servant. Engrave your ways into me, O oh Lord. I'm ready to hurry after you. See, I've been operating beneath the wrong master, but now I'm coming back like Mary Magdalene, clutching this my box of alabaster, and I will gladly use my hair to wash your feet. I'm ready for a whole new career. See, my previous job had me in constant tears, living with constant fears, constantly bringing up the rear. My boss put me under the pretense that I was simply born to fail, but you said if we worked under you, we'd be the head and not the tail. We'd be valued at full price and not at discount sale. You said you'd restore us from our prodigal state and make us servants worthy of working on your estate. I'm ready for a change. You see, my old employer had me doing back-to-back -back long days alongside sleepless nights. Had me doing plenty wrong, but I had no rights, no trade union. I was so far from being tuned in. I was basically working for free. You will excuse me. I was basically working for free, but in actual fact, it was costing me my soul. Where my blood should have been warm, it ran stone cold. I'm only, I, I'm only 19, but I was beginning to look old. All from a life of working in the sin trade. And now I'm tired of being a spiritually thin slave. I refuse to continue to work for someone who never has and never will pay me a decent wage. But Jesus, he paid my wages of sin. And even if he never blesses me again, I'll still open up my mouth to praise him. He paid it all and paid it in advance. He paid it all to give me a second chance. He sent me the P60 and everything was tax-free. No administration fees, no cons, no catches. So let me get down on my knees to thank him and let it be known that if he's hiring, I want him to employ me for his own. I want to work up keeping his house. I want to plow his fields. I want him to make me a fisher of men. I want to deliver a good yield. Just say yes and he'll place you in a row in his house. Because to be a servant for one day in his courts is worth more than a thousand years as a king elsewhere. Hire me, Jesus. Make my days with your establishment plenty. Fight, free me from the terms of my old contract working under the enemy. Understand that there's no shame in servitude. Jesus said it holds the highest honor. 
lead by example. He knelt down to, to serve and got hung up for you. When he got down to his knees and washed the disciples' feet, he showed us what it's meant to be, true representatives for his legacy. A menial, low, lowly task performed by the master himself, he didn't call upon, but instead became the help. So Lord, make a servant of me. Mold me, make me, build me, shape me, humble this my being. Remove anything that's not of your way. Less of me and more of you. You're the potter and I'm just the clay. Smooth out the bumps in my character. Remove all the vanity. Help me to be defined by my willingness to serve and love humanity. Because I'd rather be a servant for him than hold CEO status in iniquity. I'd rather use my abilities to fully, to fully further his ministry. To invest my strengths in his work seems wisest. But serve and do your bit for the Lord, not for personal praise, but simply because he deserves the highest. Let us be thankful, loving, willing and giving. Upright examples of openly righteous living. Let's do away with the, with the commotion of this world and choose devotion to you. Let us cling to this gospel we so fervently share. Make us servants till we upgrade to royalty in your kingdom up there. Amen. Thank you very much. One more time for Ijoma. Yes. Got it right that time, didn't it? We have a very special group of young people that have traveled all the way from, I don't know, Cannon Town, plus those sides, that have come to minister to us today. Don't make up your face that that's not where you're from. That is not, that is not where you're from. Yeah, be proud. Newham General Hospital and New Vic down the road. Another one representing East London. Welcome to the stage, the London Ghana Youth Choir. Yeah. Um, as they um, make their way down um, from the balcony, um, I'd just like to say we spent a lot of time deliberating what song to sing today or what songs to sing today. And um, one of the ones that came to our mind was I'm going to ride the chariot in the morning, Lord. And there was some to and fro with this song because, you know, there were some mumblings with, ah, oh, we haven't done this song in such a long time. When I say a long time, I mean probably about a year or two. Um, we've le we learned it from maybe like, what, seven years ago, seven, eight years ago. And we haven't, we haven't done it since then. And people say, oh, it's an old song. You know, times have changed. Things are moved, have moved on. But the judgment hasn't come yet. So we are still getting ready for the judgment day. So if you still believe that you're waiting for the judgment day, just, you know, meditate upon the words. And even though it might, might not be as polished as what we'd like it to be, is the message that we're trying to, to put through to you today. So I pray that, you know, you get something from this song and, you know, it helps you in your Christian walk. Thank you. Ride the 
chariots in the morning, Lord. I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready for, for the judgment day. My Lord, my Lord. Ride the chariot to see my Lord. Ride the chariot to see my Lord. Ride the chariot to see my Lord. I'm gonna ride in the chariot to see my Lord. One more time for the London Ghana Gospel Youth Choir. Now the young people in East London are blessed, right? Blessed with many, many talents. Okay. Just a quick announcement. Could the following vehicles please move as you are... No, seriously, but can you like exit and move your cars as quickly as possible? I don't know what the make or models are, but please know your number plate. It is HJ056 AO. I'm guessing that's what it says. So Hotel Juliet 056 Alpha Oscar. And then the second one is R904 TLO. So Romeo 904 Tango Lima Oscar or the number zero, one of those two. And the final one is W258. KCK, so Whiskey 258, Kilo, Charlie, Kilo. Don't feel ashamed, just make out you're going to the toilet, no one will ever know. So just move your car and come back in a little bit, yeah? So like I was saying, the East London youth are blessed, right? The South London ones are blessed as well, but we're in East today, so we're focusing on the blessings that God is pouring out in East London. And we're going to invite up two young guys that I love and respect so much. They are spoken word who are going to come and minister to us with just that. 
some spoken words. So please put your hands together for Terrell and Jay Ramey. Keep it going as they come to the front. Good evening, church. Oh, hello, hello. We're here now. We're here now. Um, how's everyone doing? You're not happy because of the weather? I've been enjoying the weather today. Um, and I'm feeling very blessed, so it's good to be here. Um, the poem we're going to do to you, perform for you today is one which I feel is on a subject that is not talked about enough in these kind of spheres. Um, it's one which many of us struggle with, but um, I don't feel that it's communicated enough. And I pray that you really listen very closely to the words, um, and I pray that you're blessed. Amen? Amen. I was made for you. Your love is so sublime. See, I just want to intertwine your divine design like a vine around me physically. There's no need to fear the sexual. See, I can open your eyes to high celestial. And I can open your mind to intellectual reasons as to why your body should be mine. With no long-term affection, nah. Only the protection of some protection to block any unwanted emotional connection from entering your heart or your midsection. So let's have safe sex. Because emotions evoke, devotions and connote unnecessary commotion and I don't want to know. So let's have safe sex. I mean, your body is beautiful, but it's not quite a temple, church or mosque. So I guess you can relieve I guess you can leave your respect at the door as I enter your, your essence. So let's get straight to the revealing. So we can start the feeling your inner doubts, just conceal them. Who needs them? You know you can trust me. I know what you want to feel, just show me to the well of your heart where your soul heals. I can make it so real. Make sure your soul never heals. I mean, I can make you feel incredible, respectable. Who cares about respect at all? See, we can wrestle, we can have a bout. I'm going to tap into you and make you tap out. Leaving accounts in the minus, you're literally priceless. I'm sorry, but I got other journeys to map out. I assure you, your, your physical is the finest. Flyest, highest, your highness, you define fine, just let me vibes with you. And you can get to know, in fact, you can get to own a once exclusive part of me. I saved this fragment just for you, the extent of my fragility. Hidden by trophies of ability, see love. Love avoids me with agility. I'm heartless as a necessity and secretly it's breaking me. So allow me to help you fall for another one night stand. So allow me to help you fall for another one night stand. Let's take a bite from the apple and, and dive head first. Turning this blessing into a curse, fulfilling the thirst, but leaving souls dry. I cry my two eyes wide open. I say rules are made to be broken. Hearts lose emotion after emotion to dive into that ocean. And drown in the sheets, the feeling repeats, it's not that deep. But still I creep like a prince in the streets, deceived to believe that it's not, not that deep. These shackles, you don't understand. <laughs> These shackles I grapple with make me backtrack back to battling this urge, this surge. Urging me to the verge of perjury. Can't you hear my soul cry out? Yearning for emergency spiritual surgery before time runs out. See, girl, can't you see hurting, hurting you is hurting me? I swear I can tell no lies when I say that there's no strings attached. But still I find myself tangled in these soul ties. I swear to you, I, I tell you no lies. <laughs> 
when I say that there's no strings attached, but I'm still left strangled by these soul ties. I mean, your body is beautiful, but it's not quite a temple, temple church, church or mosque. mosque. So you can leave your respect at the door as I enter your... Your essence. essence. Thank you. Thank you. One more time for spoken word. Now I'm going to invite a very special lady up. Goes by the name of Michaela. Let's try that one more time. Goes by the name of Michaela. And I have witnessed God use her time and time and time again. And I'm confident that he's going to use her powerfully today as she ministers to us in song. And she is from, you ready for this one? Hackney, Seventh-day Adventist Church. But just before she comes up, I just want to introduce our speaker who's going to share a quick sermonette with us this evening. Anyone who knows this guy will notice that he's looking a little bit darker than when he left. He, and Fatter Auntie Blossom says, well, I won't join that one. Like, we used to be yellow together, but now he's brown, so I'm just yellow alone. But he's none other than soon-to-be pastor, doctor, reverend, I don't know what to call you, but Andrew Fuller. Guys, let's try one more time. Andrew Fuller, uh, older brother, a mentor to me, and he's going to share a sermon with us. So after Michaela ministers in song, the next voice you will hear after is, is that of brother Andrew Fuller. Good evening, everybody. Wow, there's loads of people in here. Good evening, Ilfords. Good evening, visitors. Let's go there. And so, Jonathan and Terrell, that was quite powerful, wherever you are. Don't know where you are at the moment. Um, the only thing I will say is that the conclusion to that story is that we need to know our worth in, in Christ because the reality is young girls, young guys, in fact, girls are getting even worse than guys these days. I work in a secondary school, so when I speak, I'm talking from experience with my students that there's a lot going on with our young people and I'm not that old. I'm not old, actually, but... I'm not as young as, you know, lots of you in here. And um, one of the things that I see is that a lot of people are selling their souls, selling their self, selling their bodies. And then it's only when you get to a certain age, you realize, oh man, I wish I wasn't doing that at that, we you know, when I was 15, 16, 17, 18, you get to 19 or 20 and you realize it was the wrong thing to do. But your pe your heart, your body is in, is of about five different men and five different girls and you're just left half of a broken person but the great thing is is that God is still there and he's there to put you back together again and to hold you and um, this first song please just put your hands together for Desvon who has kindly come to um, minister with me today the first song is called No Grey how, what, how is grey made? how is the colour grey made? by black and white and um, God is calling us to be black and white. He's calling us to be hot or to be cold and not to be, and not to be lukewarm. Um, this week, you know, I think you went through it this morning. One of our dear friends passed away at Hackney. And the thing about that is that she had to be one or the other. We can't be gray. And so I just pray that in some way as this ministers to myself, it will minister to you. Mm -hmm. hey. 
Lord, I'm split in two. Part of me loves the world and the other loves you. So what do I do? I want to be saved, but I got to stay cool too. And no, I'm not a fool. I know eventually I'm going to have to choose. And really, I don't want to lose my ticket into heaven and a chance to be used by you. But if it's God that I'm after, I just can't serve two masters. And before something happens, I got to turn it all around because I know I can't can't just have my cake and eat it too Ooh, cause it's real easy to stay on the fence and still do you And it'd be cool if we could love the Lord and still go do our thing See, it doesn't work like that Gotta be white or black, oh Lord, I've realized when it comes to sin, you just don't compromise. And it's a matter of death and life. Be weak and do wrong or be strong and do right. And I don't want to keep going to church, singing all about how much you're worth. And then continue doing my dirt, living as if I didn't care if you're hurt. But if it's God that I'm after, I just can't serve two masters. And before something happens, I gotta turn it all around Because I know I can't just have my cake and eat it too Ooh, cause it's real easy to stay on the fence and still do you And it'd be cool if we could love the Lord and still do our thing See, it doesn't work like that to be white or black, oh, hey, 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 God says we got to, got to get it together, choose you this day who you will serve, get it together. Cause if it's God that we're after, we just can't serve two masters. And before something happens, I gotta turn it all around. Cause I can't just have my cake and eat it too. Ooh, cause it's real easy to stay on the fence and still do you. And it'd be cool if we could love the Lord and still go do our thing. See, it doesn't work like that. Gotta be white or black. Oh, it don't work like that. We gotta be white or black. It don't work like that. We gotta be white or black. It don't work like that. We gotta be white or black. Amen. And this next song is just a, an encouragement for all of us to hold on. Hard times are here, hard times are coming. Um, and as it was said earlier on that, you know, maybe some of us are really just wanting to throw, throw it all away. Um, but I encourage you to hold on. I encourage you to hold on to God. No matter what you're going through, it is better in here than it is out there. And um, I'm just hoping that you can be encouraged by this. But I want to teach you a song. Can I teach you a song? Are you going to sing though? Because as Asha said, you've been a little bit dry. So are you going to sing? Upstairs, are you going to sing? Are you sure? Okay. All right then. So I'm going to teach you. I'm going to sing a line. And then, I, then I'm going to sing it through once. Then I'm going to sing a line. And you're going to repeat. Okay? So I'm going to sing how many lines? One. Just one. And then you're going to repeat it. Okay? So I'll sing it through first. Hold on. It'll be alright. Joy comes in the morning light. Hold on. Just dry your eyes. It will be alright.
One line. Hold on, it'll be alright. You sing. Oh, beautiful. Joy comes in the morning light. Hold on, just dry your eyes. It will be. There you go, we've got it now. Yeah? No, 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 not you, sorry. <laughs> so you've got it, we're going to go now. Hold on, it'll be alright. Joy comes in the morning light. Hold on, just try your eyes. I'm going to do that again now. Hold on. Hold on. Joy comes. Tell someone, hold on. Just dry your eyes. It will be your When you want to ask why, don't you let go of God's unchanging hand. Because I guarantee my God will be there on time. So hold on, hold on. It'll be all right. Joy comes, joy comes in the morning light. Hold on, hold on. Just try. When we are 
are weak, that's when he's strong, even though you don't know how. Go from don't you worry. Don't you worry, God is faithful and he cares about the tears you cry and the pain you feel. He's there. When you are weak, that's when he's strong, even though you don't know how. by that piece of music and I can't hear you now guys if you were moved just give a round of applause on a serious level I'd just like to say it's good to be here you know when I left to go to Jamaica my dear brother just give him a wave Kwame this is my brother here Kwame myself and Kwame and my good friend Solomon we we jumped on the plane and we we headed out to Northern Caribbean University and then the truth is you know Jamaica is a great place amen Jamaica is a real great place, but I'm going to be honest for just a moment. I missed, I really, really missed London. I really, really missed London. I'm not going to lie. When I was ending the semester and things were winding down, it's like myself and Kwame and Solomon, we were just looking to just head home to come back where we were born and where we were grown. So today, I'm going to be honest, you know, there's a sermon in store and the spirit has done some major stuff through this concert things that I didn't imagine myself to take place. When my dear sister Michaela took up to sing, when I heard the Ghanaian choir singing their song, you know, the spirit has a way of tweaking things in your spiritual mind, amen? You know, he has a way of literally giving you something that you didn't even come into the place with. And I'm just saying today that all I can do today is testify. I don't know about you, but when I see the enemy of souls raging right now like he's doing around the world, Nothing but a testimony is able to blow his top off. Amen, church? No, no, you're not hearing me, church. When you testify, I didn't say preach, I didn't say sing. When you testify through preaching or through singing, but when the enemy understands what you've been through, he will run for his life. I'm telling you right now. So today, without further ado, I look to my left and I see some family faces, not friendly faces, but I see some family faces. I remember I was 16 years old and, no, 15 years old. And my older brother, not going to mention his name, but they were organizing a trip that was, you know, given an initiative by my dear sister, Sasha Gillian. And right here you see Blossom Gillian here. Now, you might be thinking, what trip was this? Many of you were 
not even in your teenage years yet. You know, some people wasn't even born yet. But this time was a crucial part of my life where I was in the church and I was doing church stuff. I was doing things in the church where you would look at me and think I'm a Christian. But it was when these, these, uh, okay, I'm not going to say young folk, but these young people who love young people, amen? They love young people because I didn't pay to go to where they took me. You guys hearing me? I didn't pay to go where they took me, but they said in their mind, we're going to, you know, we're going to put an initiative out there. We're going to go all the way across the world to a country called Thailand. Who's heard of Thailand? Mission trip. You remember that one? Now, this mission trip was, I believe, I've never seen that done yet. And I can boldly say that. The reason why I can say that is because everyone that went to Thailand, we went to Thailand, you know, we wasn't servants of Christ. But when we came back, we were servants of Christ. Everybody that I met in Thailand, I met my brother Adrian. That's where we met years ago. Adrian wasn't singing for nobody. But as soon as Adrian came back, he was singing all over the place. And he's still in the church today, using his gifts to the glory of God. So 16 years old, that's where it started for me. My first sermon was, if you remember, Sasha, it was in Stratford Church when I was invited straight after the mission trip. And they, you know... They hadn't heard me preach before. I didn't have a resume like many pastors and evangelists, but these people took a chance on me. And ever since they took a chance on me, that's when my spiritual role started to happen. Now, who likes worship here today? Put your hand up. And don't just put your hand up because you're a Christian and it's, it's just a normal thing to do. If you sincerely like worship, put your hand up. Now, I'm going to make a statement right now. I've learned in my life, that I only learned how to worship God when I was in my down times. I'm going to break that down. I was preaching for a long time. I was doing good stuff in the Bible, breaking down the sanctuary message, the mark of the beast, and all of these good stuff, all of these prophetic things. And I, I knew deep down that in my mind, this is what it means to be a Christian. Come to church, look good, dress good, don't do bad stuff, no more raving, no more drinking or smoking. Now you go to church. And, and, and I believed that I knew what worship was. I wasn't really doing bad stuff. I was in the church. I was looking down on people that were doing bad stuff. And I was making it seem like they were in a wrong part and I was in the right part. And it was only when I fell flat on my face, that was when I experienced true worship. Someone's here today, you haven't really gone anywhere. I'm not trying to say go outside the church and get an experience. But I'm saying right now, don't get angry at God based on your situation where you are right now. You might be in a downtime. You might be somewhere where angels ain't coming to your house like Joseph and, 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 and eating and drinking with you. You might be saying to yourself, I don't feel Christian. I'm breaking it down. Where you are right now is the best time to worship God. Now listen very carefully as you break this down in 10 minutes. How much did I say, church? 10 minutes, and I mean that this time. If you know me, they give me 50 minutes, I preach for two hours. You, you hear me, church? They give me half an hour, I go on and on and on. But today, it's very simple. I remember it was 2012. And my older brother has been an inspiration to me from the day where I could fathom things. I have four older brothers, but there was one older brother that I looked up to, and I don't believe it was by my choice. I believe the Holy Spirit, he ordained it that my older brother that I love so much, he ordained it that he would be the influence in my life. And I remember preaching, like I said, going around places, doing things that a lot of people haven't got the privilege to do. And I remember like it was yesterday, my brother Clark Collins, right there to your left from Wilsden Church, we were like this and we still are. We were going around just doing our stuff. And something took place in my Christian experience that I will never forget. The Bible and prayer has kept me for over 10 years. And every single time I fail to read my Bible and every time I fail to pray, the enemy of souls always, he marches on my parade. Are you hearing me? When I don't pray, and I don't study, the devil, he literally comes in my house and he doesn't need to barge in. Because of my non-prayer and my non-study, the door is open. 
No, no, don't miss that now. So, so the enemy of souls is not knocking at my window saying, is anyone home? Maybe I should go around the back. He waits until I put the Bible down and then he waits until I stop praying. And then the enemy of souls actually sees that as an invitation. Do you know when you put down your Bible and you stop praying, you actually invite the devil to your house? You literally say, Satan, I want you to come to my house and rain havoc in my father's life, in my mother's life. You see, I've got a little sister, devil, I don't pray no more. Yeah, come inside and cause havoc in her life. And I stop praying. And this is the danger of preachers. I can say this, not from reading any books, not from watching sermons, but by experience. When preachers stop praying and, 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 and stop studying, we are too proud to stop preaching. I, I, don't, I don't think you caught that. I'm going to say that again. I didn't say you, I said me. Blame me. I'll pull it on my head. When I am not with Christ, if I stop praying and stop studying, and I know there's no spiritual connection, I am too proud, Ryan, to stop preaching. I have to keep on preaching because if I stop preaching, then everyone will think that something is... Many of us know that Christ ain't the master of our minds. You know that you haven't read your Bible for the past two months, but you're still making it out like you are the holiest of holies. And that's why it's dangerous. Preachers and singers and musicians, I believe that the enemy of souls, he fares those. Are you guys hearing me? David took his harp and he went down to King Saul and, 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 and he was demon possessed. With legions of demons, all David did was start plucking some strings. And those demons fled from King Saul. I'm breaking it down that young people in this day and age, he is calling preachers, he's calling servants, and many of us don't understand what we are asking when we say to the Lord, make me a servant. Listen now, make me a servant. It does not mean make me preach like, like, like Doug Batchelor or James Doggett or Henry Wright. Make me a servant doesn't always mean that the Lord is going to say, okay, you want to be a Christian? I'm going to give you that Beyonce voice. Make me a servant could mean I'm going to send you down some hard roads. Make me a servant could mean, you know what? I'm not going to give you no preaching appointments and let me see if you still love me. Make me a servant means, you know what? I'm going to give you a soft throat. I'm going to break your voice at that pinnacle time when, you're, when, you're, when, you're, when your pride was just booming and everyone was asking you to sing. At that time, I'm going to blow your voice apart. That's make me a servant. Make me a servant is not about your success on this earth, but make me a servant is about your success getting to the kingdom of heaven. I said make me a servant 16 years old. People saw great stuff in me and I saw the great stuff that they saw in me and I followed the enemy's lies and I'm being honest. I said that preaching and, and teaching, that's all I need to do. What goes on behind closed doors is okay. And I know that many of us here today, transparency is not nowhere in your vocabulary. But I'm not you. And nobody didn't save my life but Jesus. Hello church. You weren't there when I was down in my mess, so I have the right to break down where I've been because I'm not there no more. I'm saying right now that when Christ saves your life, when you are truly saved, you cannot keep quiet. I'm just saying. So right now, 16 years old, preaching and teaching, doing that stuff, and I learned that worship wasn't on my agenda. I'll come to church, Adrian, tell them, I'm transparent, I'm being honest. I'll sit down in church and everyone's singing the songs. But because I'm a preacher, and I'm holier than thou, I don't have no worship experience. I, don't, I need to keep myself at a certain level. I can't, I can't stand up. I can't put my hand in the air. Why? Because I'm, I'm a servant. And it was only when I got put right down on my face. Listen now. It was when I was looking up, and there was no more friends around me. Hello, church. No, no, I said, hello, church. There was no one around me. Listen very carefully because you think I'm coming for them. No, they weren't around me, not because they didn't want to be there. It was because when you are living that life, you, 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 you live your, your life on your own. You live secluded. So if Sasha's gone through a problem, nobody would know. Nobody would know. 
And I'm saying today that Warren said to me, preach on the, on the feet, make me a servant. One text came to mind, Warren. Just one, not two. Are you hearing me, church? Just one. There's four angels right now. We're going to close now. Very simple. How much angels? Now, you need to fathom what I'm saying right now on a serious level. Don't look at the preacher. I'm a nobody. Listen very carefully. The word, the word is where the power is at. Revelation 7 verse 1 breaks down some profound stuff. There's four angels. Listen very carefully. They said the, the text was going to be on the screen, but it's okay. Yes, okay, it's right there. And it says this. Read with me. And after these things, I saw what? Four angels standing on what? On the four corners of the earth. No, no, no. okay, it's all right there. So there's four angels standing where? Now, where are we? We're on the earth, right? So there's four angels that are, talk to me, they're surrounding us, right? Are you listening to me, church? It says this. These angels are holding the four winds of the earth, listen now, that the wind should not do what? On the earth. Nor the sea, nor on any tree. Next text, please. And I saw another angel ascending from the east now, having the seal of the living God. And did he whisper? No. He cried, listen now, with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth. So this angels run into those angels that have been given permission to let rip on the earth. And this angel is saying, listen now, don't hurt the earth and the sea. Next text, please. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. I'm going to break this down as simple as I can, in practical and real terms. You're here today, and you are not necessarily, if looks were to tell who you were. You don't look like someone who's going straight to glory. And this is not me coming for you. I'm just saying what people do. If I look at you and you don't read your Bible, you're in the world and, and you wear this and you eat that and you drink that. The world and the church will look at you and say, you are going nowhere. No one, don't miss this now, no one in heaven, no angel or God or the angels or the spirit they're not willing to, to live inside of you. You are a bad person. You don't come to church. You don't teach. You don't preach. When last have you been here? And I'm breaking it down right now that when I was growing up, there was many young people who did not look like me. They weren't preaching and they weren't singing. They were only in the pews and, and they left the church because nobody showed them that just because you know your Bible, that don't make you holy. There's men right now who know the sanctuary message. Listen now, they know the mark of the beast. They know every prophecy, but they are angry at their brother. You're not hearing that, church. No, no, you're not hearing that, church. There's someone right now that will say, look at your skirt. But then there's another lady that they're walking past. But then they'll walk past the lady, sit down and sing March into Zion. And then, and then, don't miss this now. Then there are those who, who, who they call themselves the highest of the high. They know, I, I, listen, I'm going somewhere. They know everything. Every message, every single red book there is to know. And then, and then, don't miss this now. We ain't doing anything for the ones around us. But we're singing in church. Don't miss this now. Seeking the lost. So I'm breaking it down right now. If there's one young man right here and he, I'm going to be, I'm making a plane right now. And he smokes weed. What does he do? And he drinks alcohol and he sleeps around and he wears jewelry and he goes raving and he goes clubbing and he does bad stuff. Don't miss this now. But then right there, there's an elder that goes to church. He don't smoke. He don't drink. He preaches. He teaches. He baptizes. He does all of those stuff, but he don't love Jesus. Who is worse? No, 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 no. Don't change your answer. You came in here, you know, believing that the man that smokes weed, he is further than the elder that don't.
don't witness. Don't miss this. The Bible says, if you call yourself Christian, then by default, you are a witness. So, if I don't do the bad stuff, but I don't tell no one about Jesus, I am just as bad as the murderer. No, 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 no. Just let that sink in, please. I'm sorry to rain on your parade. Your Christianity, um, listen now, if you are not a light to the world, I'm breaking it down, a servant, because you prayed, make me a servant. A servant is someone who goes out by choice and saves others from the perishing tide of sin. So when we look down on young people and those that don't look like us or dress like us, you must understand that there are four angels right now that are not willing to let them wins go until that one person saved no no church you're not hearing that four angels of magnitude power right now they could let those wins go once the wins go it's a wrap they are waiting because they love you so much God's love for you is so vast that he's saying to those angels listen don't miss this now that person right there that don't even love me you can't let those wins go until I get them there's someone that doesn't even like Christ. You know, there's someone that you know in your, in your phone book. They don't even like Christ. The Lord has told these angels, don't let the winds go until I get that person. And I'm testifying today. That person was me. I remember like it was yesterday. You would look at me and say, conversion took place in my life when I started preaching. Conversion took place in my life, I'm saying it again, when I fell flat on my face. And I've learned that the best worship services are held when you are down in your pig pen. The best worship services are when you are down in your pig pen because that's when your sincere praise comes from your mouth. My appeal is very simple. Very, very simple. I said 2012 and Clark Collins was trying to get through to my mobile phone. And he was trying to phone me, and he wasn't getting through. My older brother, Stephen, he was phoning my mobile, and he wasn't getting through. And then my older brother, Anthony, phoned my mobile, and he wasn't getting through. I remember that something took place. It was in my family, so it stays in my family circle, that took me for six. It literally knocked, my, knocked, it knocked me off my feet. I went to my room and I said to God, I know that there's power in your word. For your word has been keeping me up until now. But my emotions was running so high. Listen very carefully. My emotions and my feelings were overriding my faith. And I chose to do the wrong rather than the right. I packed my bags. Listen very carefully. I packed my bags. And I told my older brother, Stephen, listen, right now, I am not coming back to God. I said to my mom and dad that same day, they know what took place. You don't have to know. I said to them, look in, look in my eyes with tears in my eyes. I said, I am not coming back to God. Imagine that. Preacher, teacher. Yeah, yes, Bible. Yes, you know your stuff. The devil took me off my feet. Because my Bible study stopped. My prayer life stopped. And the enemy weaved his way in my life, into my home. And I said to God, I'm leaving you based on my hurt. I packed my bags. My older brother phoned me with tears in his eyes. He said to me, do not go. I said, I'm not going to listen to that. I stepped out of my house. And I remember it was 10 p.m. at night time. I made a phone call to my good friend. He lives in Clapham Junction. That's in Battersea. He drove all the way. He was on his way to meet me. But he said there were some roadworks. And you know how it goes. He, he didn't really have all the right papers in his car. So he said, I'm going to wait for you. You get on the train and meet me here. I got to the train station. Listen very carefully. And I remember like it was yesterday. It's 10 p.m. and there's trains. Trains don't stop until 12 o'clock where, where I'm from. I sat down at the train station. And not one train came for two hours. Are you guys hearing me? No, 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 no. You're not hearing me. I saw people at the platform walk away from the train station as if to say the Lord told them, get up and get out of there. I need to speak to my son. I'm being serious. 
I literally sat down at the train station looking at the train times. It did not say delayed, but no train came. A voice said in my head, get up and go back home. Listen very carefully. I got up. Tears is running down my eyes now, you know. And I started to walk back home. I felt demonic powers all around me. I know how it feels when the spirit's with me. I know how it feels when the enemy is with me. I've been there. I know. you, And you know too. You know when the atmosphere is just poison. And I was walking home. And it was as if there was... Li- I was literally looking behind me thinking, what's going on? And I started to run and I ran on my road and I opened the door and it's like that force stayed outside. I walked upstairs and I wrote a note to my mom and dad and my brother. I said to my brother, Stephen, you need to stay on the ship. But as for me, I'm gone. And I came back, I saw the letter and I said, I hope you didn't see this. And I threw it in the bin. And I went upstairs and I walked past his room. I heard singing. No, no, listen, church. I heard singing. And I heard other voices on a Skype call. My brother said to me, when I heard that you were leaving, I called up my friend Clark Collins. He called up the other soldiers in my camp. And they went on the Skype phone call. And they started praying, saying, Lord, bring that young man back. Demons were literally trying to take me away from my road and my calling. And if it wasn't for my brothers and my friends in Christ, I would not be here today. I said, no more running. And there's someone there today as we just make the simple appeal. I said, no more running. I said, Lord, what does it mean to say? Make me a servant. He told me what it meant. He said to me, Fuller, make me a servant sometimes means that I need to get you ridiculed. Sometimes it means your name ain't going to be the same. Sometimes it means you're going to have to to, 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 to humble yourself and bite your tongue. Know you're right, but say nothing. Hello, church. Make me a servant means when you have been wronged, don't even talk back or don't even fight back. Just stand still and let the Lord handle your business. Make me a servant means that sometimes we got to take a leaf out of Jehoshaphat's book. Take a leaf out of the man's book. The battles in our life, church, are not for you to fight. It's not for me to fight. The battles in our life, no matter where they're coming from, or for you to stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. Jamaica, where we are now, I said to the Lord, if I'm going to be made a servant, I'm going to go and do what? Sasha and Blossom will tell you I was supposed to do from the age of 16 years old. From the age of 16, I was cool to go to NCU. I'm 26 now. And I only went last year. That's 10 years later. Hello, someone. The Lord don't stop knocking on your door. That's love. The Lord will literally see you acting like you're all good and good. And he will actually use you. Knowing that you're not meant to be there. But when the Lord comes to save your life, he is willing to break your ship to save you. If Jonah's ship didn't get broken, he would not have been saved. I said to the Lord, if you're calling me to go to Jamaica, as we close this up, I said, Lord, you know that I can't get there on my own. You might not know me, but I didn't get my GCSEs. Hello, church. Is it only me here? Don't, don't, don't sit there pious now. Making it seem like you have straight A's. I didn't get no GCSEs. I didn't get no A's or B's or even C's. A C was like an A where I'm from. You see, you guys, don't say you're from East now, Blossom, because East is worse than South. Hello, church. If you start this course, you don't know your maths and English. He's seen that. He said, if you get your A's, no B's, if you, if you can show that you are credible for the course, then we will enroll you fully on this program. 
Now, I am not one to boast or to pry, but I'm going to boast today, church. Amen? <laughs> you see when I got them A-stars? See, Warren, you know me, Warren. Like, you see when I, it's like, Kwame, you know, I would go to people that I don't even know. I'd be like, yo, look what I got. They don't know me. But that's what takes place when, when that's, that was minuscule back in the day. But now the small things in life meant something to me. It wasn't about preaching no more. Just the simple A was enough for me to stop praising the Lord. And I'm just saying today, if the Lord can make me a servant. No, no, listen. If the Lord can make me a servant, he can make anyone a servant. Anybody. You got permission from me. Don't not come to Christ based on where you are. Hello, church. Don't say, I'm not ready yet. Don't say, I'm still doing this yet. Don't say, I'm still out there in the... No, don't be like that. The Lord is saying, I actually want you there. I need you to come to me where you are. My appeal is simple. The devil right now is making many servants. Where I'm from, 14-year-old, young friend that I used to grow up with, he used to look up to me, he used to look at the bad stuff I used to do while I was going to church and he wasn't going to church. I was in Jamaica and I got a phone call hearing, listen now, don't miss this, 15-year-old young boy got shot point blank in his head. This young man, I remember my friend from church was going to give Bible study with. He was looking to try to save him for the kingdom, but the devil got there first. This is why we do what we do. It's not a game. The enemy of souls is out there evangelizing. He's out there. He has got his soldiers. He's got Elijah's. He's got John the Baptist. He's got Moses out there fighting for him. And I'm just making it so simple. The Lord did not say, make yourself a servant and then come. You say to the Lord, Make me a servant. It is not your work. You cannot make yourself a servant. Only the Lord can make you a servant. I'm breaking it down. The same way the devil got in the mind of Herod to get Jesus is the same way Christ can get in your mind to fight for God. And if you're saying today right now, there's death on the increase. Murders, rapes and killings. Terrorist attacks are booming. There's things that are coming our way. Churches are deliberating. The enemy of souls is waging war against you and you don't even know it. Now is the time to say to the Lord, make me a servant. Make me a servant. That's your prayer today. You're saying, make me a servant. That's your prayer today. You're a young person here today. You're an adult here today. You're a mother here today. You're a father here today. You're saying, Lord, make me a servant today. Right now, make me a servant. I'm going to ask you, just stand to your feet where you are. You're saying, make me a servant right now. Make me a servant. If you don't make me a servant, Lord, I'm being honest now. If you don't make me a servant, the enemy of souls, he will provide work for me. You know that's you right now. If the Lord don't make you a servant right now, the devil right now will give you a job to do for him. We're going to pray right now. I'm going to call upon our, our dear senior, Pastor Kevin Johns, to, to pray for us. To pray for us. I, I believe in prayer, church. No, no, no. I believe in prayer, church. I actually believe and know there's power in prayer. I know this. I believe this. I know how it feels to go into my cupboards I couldn't say this before. There's no food, but I pray and then there's money in the bank just like that. There's power in prayer. Amen. Make me a servant, Lord. As the praise team, if it's, if it's, if it's not on the program, it is now. Amen, church. Amen. <laughs> That's how the spirit works. Make yes. me a servant. Amen. As the praise team comes today, I'm going to ask that we can be brought into a spirit of, of worship. Amen. You guys can choose exactly what song that you guys are going to sing and, and, and bless us today. And, and at the end of that song, as we bask in the presence of God, 
as we remind ourselves today that the Lord has called us to be servants. Amen, church? Amen, church? The Lord has called us to be servants.
Lucas. The one, two, one, two. The sermons being preached, and there's a lot to say. That there's a lot to that comes with being made a servant. Like my man rightly preached. But I just want to invite and give the opportunity for any young person. I'm not appealing to the masses, but I'm appealing to any young person who want to be like, hey God, there's so much more I can do and I want to be made a servant for you. And as they sing that song one more time, I'm going to just invite you down here. I'm not appealing to the masses because this is a serious job and this is a serious call. If you want to be made a servant and if nobody in there wants to be made a servant, that's okay. But if that's you, we're going to sing that song, My God is Awesome. He can move mountains. Oh, he can keep me in the valley and he can hide me from the rain. So if that's you, you want to be made a servant, just, to, just come down as our pastor to pray for. Don't feel pressured because like what preacher said, being made servant comes with some turmoil. It comes with some valleys. It's not masses I'm appealing to. Let's sing that song. My God, my God is awesome. He's what? Awesome. 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 My God, my God is awesome. We're gonna sing it one more time. My God is, my God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Squeeze me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Every head is bowed, every eye is closed. Our loving Father, Lord, before I can pray for anyone else, I have to pray for myself. Lord, I want to be a servant for you. So I ask you, dear God, to take this feeble frame of mine and make it wholly thine. Lord, you've called upon us this evening. Throughout this day, in fact, through message in song and in word, in the spoken word, to be servants for you. Lord, we know the life that we have been living. We know the things that we have been doing. But today, dear God, is a turning point in our experience. Today we're saying, Lord, take full control. Into your hands, we commit our very being. Lord, I ask you to take us, mold us, fashion us, and use us. And the rubbish that has been holding us back, help us, dear God, to let it go. So that we can truly be servants for you. You see, dear God, we understand that you have called us while we are young. While there is that certain air of vibrancy about us. Because we can do a powerful work for you. And so, dear Lord, we, we know the devil is very upset right now. Because he sees young people making a decision for you. He's had his way in our life. But now we are saying no more. His time is over. It is your time to reign in our lives forevermore. 
And so, dear God, I ask you to please come and take full control. Step right in. You are invited. Take first place in our life, dear God. Lord, you see your young people who have come forward. You understand the things that they are wrestling with. And Father, on, your, on their behalf, I ask you, dear Father, to move into their experience in a very special way. That they, you will help them to turn everything over to you. Lord, we want to leave this place knowing that it is well with our soul. And that from this point forward, we are moving in a newness of life with a renewed determination to serve you better than we've ever done before. To lift your name up boldly wherever we go and to let others see you in our lives. No longer ashamed to call your name. No longer embarrassed when someone asks, are you a Christian? But to simply say, yes, I am a servant of King Jesus. And Lord, we look forward to that day when you shall come. We understand how soon that is. For you've told us to watch for the signs. And we see those signs each and every day. But Lord, we've got to be careful that we don't, do not become immune to those signs. And they simply pass us by. But Lord, we want to be ready to meet you. We want to go home with you to glory. And so Lord, I ask that you'll help us to keep our eyes focused on you. Focused on on your soon return focused on you King Jesus that we are blinkered seeing only you we know the devil is still determined to wreak havoc in our life but Lord when he comes firing those darts at us Lord I pray that you'll cover us with a double portion of your spirit so that whatever he throws at us simply bounces back off because we are wrapped in your grace and in your mercy and so dear Lord we also want to thank you tonight because you have not left us alone. While, we're deep, while we've been deep in our sin, deep in our, in our things that we're doing wrong, you have still been there. You have still been stretching out your arms, ready and waiting to receive us. Even though we're spitting in your face, even though we've been denying your existence, you still hold out your hands, arms of love, ready and waiting to receive us. And so, dear Lord, tonight we want to accept that invita invitation to allow you into our existence. So, Lord, I pray that you will work with each and every one of us tonight. Lord, help each one of us to leave here with a renewed determination. That this day will not have been just a day of fun and entertainment, but a day of spiritual rejuvenation. A day of spiritual growth and a renewed determination to serve you, our Lord and our Savior. So dear Lord, when you come, please come quickly. We long to reign with you forevermore. And may you hasten that day, is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please return. Amen. Were you blessed? Is it because you're wiping tears that you can't answer me? Were you blessed? As we continue our, our, our portion of worship, we're going to invite Janice Swaby to come up and... Con uh, yes, Janice Swaby to come up and minister to us in song. So please welcome to the stage, Janice Swaby. Hi, everyone. Um, the song I want to sing is called Break Every Chain, and I think the song that I want to sing is quite appropriate for this service. Um, when I'm down in the dumps and just think there's nowhere to turn, this song, if you listen to the words, it helps to pick you up when you are down, and I hope that it does the same for you.
is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain to break every chain to break every chain to break every chain to break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, 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 to break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an Amen. I know that we're not tired and I know that we're not weary, but we've almost come to the end of our program. That's when everyone's face drops and you look disappointed. I don't know why I'm seeing so much teeth right now. I thought we were disappointed, but okay. 
it must be the South people cheering. Okay. But we've almost come to the end of the program. But before we finish, I'm going to invite... You know, I have to make sure I pronounce it correct because I got in trouble last time. I'm going to invite Sayak standing for stones in a crown. That's correct, right? Stones in a crown to come up and close for us in song. But as they're closing, we're going to just send the basket rounds and collect a love offering. That's right. The smiles have come up because we believe he said a good God, right? It's only me. Do we serve a good God? Everyone's speaking, I don't want to give, so let me say no. I don't know about you, but I serve a good God. You know, I don't know if you know about student loan. You know about student loan? Student loan comes once a term, right? And something amazing happened to me at the beginning of this year. In about February time, Miriam, guess what happened? I looked in my bank account. Considering student loan came in January. February time, I looked and I had six pounds left of my overdraft. Not minus six, six pounds left of the 750 pounds overdraft. Student loan don't drop till April. Not even beginning of April, but end of April. And you know what? I didn't tell anyone. And from February to April, the bills got paid. The shopping got done. There was petrol in my car. Six pound left of overdraft. You may not serve a powerful God, but I serve a powerful God. And when we give and say thank you, that's when he will return to us a hundredfold and a thousandfold when we're faithful to him. So as they sing, the baskets are going to go around, dig deep into your pocket and give as we collect our love offering. You better mind, you better mind. 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 Oh, you better mind. You better mind, you better mind. Judgment day is coming. You better mind, you better mind, you better mind, you better mind. Judgment day is coming, you better mind, you better mind. How you do? Better mind what you're talking about. Judgment day is coming. You better mind, you better mind where you walk. Better mind where you're walking to. Judgment day is coming. You better mind, you better mind. You better mind, better mind. You better mind. Judgment day is coming. You better mind. You Mind. You better mind. Judgment day is coming. You better mind. You better mind how you preach. Better mind what you're preaching about. Judgment day is coming. You better mind. Better mind what you're teaching about. Better mind, you better mind, you better mind, mind, mind. Judgment day is coming, you better mind, you better mind, you better mind, mind, mind. Judgment day is coming, you better mind, you better mind. You better mind, you better mind, you better mind. 
just want to bow your heads as we quickly pray for the offering. Just your heads bowed. Heavenly Father, I ask uh, whatever has been taken up, that you may bless it, that you may multiply it, that it may uh, go to do your work. In your name I pray. Amen. To just stand as we close in prayer. <clears throat> close in prayer. Let's bow our heads together. Loving Father, we thank you so much for being with us through this blessed day of praise and worship and fellowship. We thank you for being with us and for blessing us so wonderfully. Father, we recognize that we're living in the last days. Soon, Jesus will come to take his people home. We recognize that your Holy Spirit is being poured out upon men and women and young people all around the world. We recognize, Lord, that we need to stop running from you. We need to stand still and know that you are God. We thank you for these beautiful young people who are committing themselves to you today. They want to be made servants of God. We pray that your Holy Spirit will be poured out upon each individual standing here today. That you will use them to your name's honor and glory to finish your work. In a special way, we pray for the youth leaders of Era 6C, for Warren and his team and all the individual youth leaders throughout Era 6C. We pray that your Holy Spirit will use them to lead your, your young people to victory. We pray that they will be led in such a way that young people all around East London will know that Jesus loves them and that they will give their lives over to him completely. Soon you will come and we want to go home with you. May we leave this place rejoicing, knowing that you have blessed us, you have been with us, that we are your servants. May we leave this place knowing that we are going to do exploits for you under the power of the Holy Spirit. Guide us now as we go our different ways through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Before you go, church, have you been blessed today? Have you been blessed? Now, I want to publicly recognize and thank Warren. He was given a task and he did it diligently. He has done a flawless day. And I can say per, from my own personal experience that I have heard so many good comments about today. And I want to say thank you. I want to say God bless you. I want to say continue doing what you're doing and stay close to Christ. Today has been an example for all of us and, and the amazing work that you can do when you've got good people behind you and when you're working for God. So I just want to say thank you. God bless you. Good night, folks, and have a happy Sabbath, and see you soon, God willing. Goodbye.